What is up guys, so Raven here with another fantastic deck video. Today we're gonna be talking about Colossal V Max, a deck that I was playing during Friday Night Pokemon Tournament that I've played well for a couple of days now and I must say this is <coughs> excuse me, one of the most consistent decks of this era, of Sword and Shield era I would even say. Um, is it more consistent than Eternatus? I think it is. And with Eruption Shot uh, building up to G-Max Builder, it is just an unstoppable beast. The one uh, hit KO on a Picarum, on a Choo Choo, it's absolutely insane. So Eruption Shot, you discard the top card of your car, top card of your deck, and if that was an energy, you not only attach it to the Colossal VMAX, it can be a strong energy or a regular basic, but also you hit 90 more, which is 130 damage. With the Martial Arts Dojo, it is 140. And you slowly can build up towards G Max Builder. Uh, but this one has a special treat. This one has also Mew 3. Why the Mew 3? Well, there are sometimes decks that you really want to play out differently. First of all, there are decks that utilize a lot of energy, so I want to have Aerodactyl with Wild Dive GX. So if we're facing something like Senti Scorch, that is a perfect way of dealing with it, right? With Wild Dive GX, 50 damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon, and they usually have like 6, 7, so coming in with the Mew3 GXing is a great, great, great idea. And then, of course, if we're facing, if you're scared of Zamazentas, if you're scared of your Caldeos, of literally, you know, um, anything, it can be a Decidui. You just go with the Sonic Edge GX, 120 damage, and it's not affected by literally anything. Not affected by a tool, not affected by ADP's, um, no, uh, by uh, Metal Carios or Luke Metal's GX, not affected by anything. You just go through and attack. Also, Let's not forget about our beautiful Galarian Surfetched. Working like Heatran GX, you, when you move it from the bench to an active, you can move three energies or whatever energies you want. It, they can be strong energies to him and attack with Meteor Smash for 200 damage. So that is the whole idea to have two Colossals. We got a Surfetch as an um, additional attacker and also Mew3 as additional tech card that we can utilize against our opponents. So we got 17 Pokemons, 31 trainer cards and 12 energy. Going from left to right we got two Orangurus, two Crobat Vs, a 3-3 line of um, Colossal V and a Colossal V Max, one Galarian Surfetched, one uh, Aerodactyl GX, one Flygon GX, one Dedenne GX, two Jirachis, amazing rare, and we got one Mewtwo with Mew GX Tag Team. Then we got three Pokemon Communications, four Quick Balls, three Rotom Phones, again, setting up that top card. Um, also worth knowing, Oranguru is so you can always set energy as a top card. Then we got four Switches, two Martial Arts Dojo with two Training Cords. Of course, if there's someone's playing Amherst, we can bring back the energy. Two Boss Orders, two Malon Lanas, three Marnies, four Research, two buff paddings that will go on the Colossal V and V Max. Of course, regular V also works with the buff padding, so that's 270 HP on the regular one. Three strong energies and nine fighting type energies. That is it, that is a whole deck. Of course, the deck is down there below, so you can uh, copy the list, but wait until the gameplay portion, because there you will have everything you know. You got my insight uh, to that deck. So you know what? Let's move on to the gameplay portion. Let's go. And there was no blood, exactly. Alright, come on, Rama. You and me. Hit me. Oh, yep. I'm gonna hit you. Okay, press record. There we are. We are live. I mean, we are recording the Friday Pokemon Tournament. Alright. I hope I picked the right deck. Yes, I did. Alright, so I'm rocking the brand new, like a brand new, the player's cup sleeves. And I'm all in about the consistency right now. Yep. But it's not, that is not the deck. That is not that deck. Oh boy, okay, um, I did, okay, so Rema with Mew3. Oh, okay, 
that's a wet, wet MUF3, moist MUF3, however you want to call it. I know where this is going. Oh. That's gonna be a long, long, long matchup, let me tell you. But okay. Again, Kaldia works on GX and EX, so I don't really have to worry. Yep. This is so you can make a deck, right? This is so you can make a deck, you can freely do it, you don't have to worry about anything. If you miss, if you need any cards uh, for the deck, let me know. I'm gonna trade you those cards so you can make that deck. So no worries, Tom. No rush, you can slowly build that deck, you can still create it. And let's go. Okay. Both padding. Dream Revelation. So technically I can just go play that sort of fetched. You know what, I'm just gonna do it like that. So I'm gonna put the surface on top. Because then there was buff padding. Play research. So can I exactly know what I'm drawing. And my options are a few. Um, I can go Mew 3. I can set up a Colossal. So what you're missing? Okay, rotten phone. Um, what I want on top? I want another rotten phone. Ah. Well, we tried. We tried. Okay, so that's Marnie. So at least I know I have rotten phone from the top. <laughs> yep. Well, honestly, that's not bad. So I can play rotten phone. Um, see what I have on top. Use Jirachi. Switch. Play energy. Research. Find energy, play Orangurus to put the energy on top. If I'm gonna, of course, have V Max and just go for it. Yeah. Or I don't even have to go and play Switch. Hmm. Okay, research. Alright, so. Strong energy, stone energy on top, so it's gonna get attached with your option shot. So I know I'm playing not an ordinary deck, and I know that Rema has no idea that I had that deck because he was not on stream that day, so I know. That is a surprise. And I wanted to play that. Because we were testing it uh, two days ago. Okay, so Rama. Checking out his odds. Okay, Team Yell Grunt, so Stone Energy is going to be bounced back. Okay.
a wider than I. Or maybe there's a scoop up nut, actually. I think Rama thought he has a space open on the bench. That's what I think. I think he genuinely thought that he has the bench space for the Dene. Yep. 100%. Yeah. Okay, Primate Wisdom. Any eruption shot. Or he was preparing another turn. I mean, you can play Seeking, but let me tell you. If you're gonna get banned on Christmas, that's your own fault at that point. Like, that's your own fault. Spino, have you played Valhalla yet? What's up, Chrome? Question, uh, if I lost round one, does the loser the run call first or second? Uh, yes, you choose, yes. It's the same, the same thing um, as IRL. Because IRL, whenever you lose, you ask your op whenever you win, you ask your opponent, okay, uh, who goes first? So the loser always picks who goes first, uh, the game two. So like even if the coin flip is not on your side, you can you say that you know in the in-game chat, so uh, your friend your friend knows that. What's going, Chrome? Hello. Uh. Nope. Wait. Um. I forgot the uh, the command. Because, yeah, like, you see, this is the thing. Because there is, like, extended version of rules. This is one of those things that we kind of keep forgetting, because this is, like, a no-brainer IRL. Like, truly no-brainer IRL. Like, that's what you, what you just do, right? And I kind of keep forgetting, you know... Um, I keep forgetting that online it's a bit different. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go here. That not everyone knows that. Yeah, so it's always like that. Uh, the person that lost is choosing who goes first. Because we wanted to do as much as possible IRL feel to that tournament, right? And that's exactly what you do IRL. Ah, uh, Rama goes for a knockout. Okay. Ah, I should have waited. I should have waited. But okay. Mm. I'm not gonna give him that the Danny on the bench. There's no way. <laughs> Say uh, as they lose the coin flip. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but again, um If they lose a coin flip, they still... 
tell them that. It's just like, a, you know, again, being nice and that just as something that's common. Okay, so eruption shot. So, yep, Gary and, uh, and Ninja Hog are playing as well, Tom. They are playing as well. So now I know I have to wait until Rama's gonna charge his Blastoise. So Fiori, I'm playing... Um, to be fair... A Mew 3. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Mew 3. Why does it do 170? Because he, uh, I have more prize cards and there's Martial Arts Dojo. So that, that's the reason. Yeah. Okay, heal and let's go for G-Max Boulder. So now I'm gonna do less, right? You see, I now I've done 280 because of uh, that dojo. <sighs> so even though I made a really big mistake that I should have waited with the GX, then the move 3, because I will have a knockout here like that, uh, I think we're good. I mean, not benching that the Dene. was a great option and yeah Jimax Boulder All right Prisma Godfather game number 2 Of course Rama who goes first You got to tell us I'm joking and let's go. Uh, this also means that you know the stream is slowly getting closer to the end, right? Like we're not, I'm not gonna stream longer than that. Ooh, a loss. Because there are still things um, to do. Um, what's your nickname on Discord? Just tell me your nickname on Discord and I will send you the code. Ah, you see. Okay, Ranguru. All right, so I'm gonna I, I, I'm gonna whisper you. No worries. I'm gonna whisper you that. And pass. <laughs> Me, you're not lying, singing, and that is wow. So generous. <laughs> All right, Gary uh, smokes oak. Gotcha, and the code is coming your way right now. There we go, on Twitch in Whispers. I'm just the game, uh, what deck uh, do you guys recommend me trying out besides ADP? Um, right now, honestly, uh, it depends if you want to go like expensive or not. I would say Colossal is an amazing deck to try out. Uh, any deck that I have on my YouTube channel, I think it's a great to check out. Today's decks are rude. It's a great one. Um, Raikou decks are amazing. So yeah, there's like plenty, plenty of uh, to check out. Um, Mew of three peak room, why not? Okay, Colossal. <laughs> and they're amazing at the same time. Like, Raikou deck is really fun. 
and weird, but it's fun at, at the end of the day. Okay, did that I? An eruption shot. So the second Mew 3 peak row of the day. Man oh man. Come on, stop with the ammers. They, they are not gonna go br Oh, they went brr. Right now I have a look metal deck, but I want to try something else uh, as well. Yeah, then I feel like Colossal... Um, really, you can just go through my YouTube and you will find a lot of decks that are really fun and you'll be able to uh, figure out what you want. Um, Baby Cinderite, I think it's an, it's an amazing deck. It's a great deck. Um, Mew 3 Picarom at the same time as well. Intilion Dex, um, Dread, excuse me, Dreadna, Waylord, Sea King. That's that's an, uh, an amazing deck. Um, of course, if you, if you want to lose all your friends and everyone, you know, and you want everyone to hate you, but hey, it is a deck. It's a fun uh, deck to play. To play, not to play against. <laughs> Cinderace, see the errata. I don't think there's going to be a errata. There is an errata. Oh yeah, uh, right, oh, okay. So the old Cinderace that received an errata, that's true, yeah, yeah, so that's... Uh, but that's the old one, but that's changing of, change of the retreat cost, but that's not the one, uh, yeah, not the Libero one. So we're good. I can just do research. And that's from hand. That's the top of my deck. Eruption shot. Knockout. But that's weird that they're uh, doing errata on that and not on the Libero. Of course, yeah, you know, that's because they've released uh, the gym promo. But it's weird still. You would think, like, if they want to do errata, they would do on, 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 um... The Libero one. Because that one can be really good. But I feel like Retreat Cost of 2 would not even stop um, the Libero one. Because you're still, you're still attaching 2 from the discard pile, so that doesn't matter that much. Okay, the Dene. That's still not a knockout. Um, I can do. Yep. I think we win next turn. At least I hope so. Because <laughs> it's 106, that would be 310. And I have 380 HP. Of course, I'm gonna get paralyzed if he's gonna attack with uh, the Choo Choo. But yeah, I feel like we're good. Ah, Marnie, okay. That might be a problem. Now, Marnie might be a problem. <laughs> hey, Merry Christmas, Liv. Merry Christmas, I appreciate that. Merry Christmas to you as well. Okay. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, everyone really dislikes baby plants. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, dream revelation. Do you have a boss still? He might have a boss. You know what? Let's go here. Pass. I mean, Baby Blouse gets so much hate. <laughs> uh. I mean, well deserved. Because he can win out of nowhere. From me, yeah, like <laughs> well, that as well, right? Definitely. Um, mm. I'm just gonna switch. Searing flame, ninety. That is rough. Because he's not going to play Marnie at all. Okay, so paralysis, 160 paralysis, alright. Come on. So at least I drew energy. <laughs> but one simple boss can just destroy me. But I feel like if he would have had a boss, uh, he would already use it like uh, turn earlier. So I don't think he drew a boss. I really don't think so. There is no boss. Imagine Galisapod right now. The versus this. My goodness, Galisapod would be amazing. Don't be like for what, 300 uh, damage out of Galisapod or like 250 because he's counting bench? No. That would like literally 300. No, like, Rema can play it right. Like, the problem uh, that Rema has is that it can actually win from out of nowhere. You can uh, stamp it, you can marnie it, and it's not, you know, it can still come back like that. So that's uh, Rema's problem. That's what many people have a problem with, uh, with that deck. It can just win out of nowhere. It can achieve those high numbers of damage, again, out of nowhere sometimes. Okay, that's a switch. Marnie. I mean, not really. I almost like with every fire deck uh, that runs Welder. Like you kind of know there you have options with with uh, Baby Blaze. There are the fire crystals. There are just 
they have easier access to that 300 damage. Because, like, like say, Scent Discourage, to pull off Scent Discourage, you have to have like 6 7 energy to have like 300 or 320 on it, which is like two turn setup. For Baby Blaze, it's Welder, Fire Crystals, go for it, right? Sometimes. So it is easier. But I get the point. Okay. All right, eruption. Uh, so we're gonna be like hitting each other like that. Because I, mean, I know he wants me to knock out the Dene, so he can play. Um... You still have to evolve it, and the thing is, even if you're gonna go fire crystal, it's still. I mean, you can. It's not as fast. Uh, no boss is older, and you can't knock out. There is a boss older. You can counter it, like you have a way of getting rid of their energy with uh, crushing ammo's. You know you can manipulate that, and they like once you're gonna knock it out. There's sort of three prize cards that are going going away. For baby Blaze, he can hit 300 damage, and this is only one prize card. So that is, you know, the issue that many, many, many have with that card as well. Like, it's a baby one. Um... There we go. Right, because since course, you still gotta evolve, gotta play Welder, you gotta pull all of that stuff. It. The energy is on him. Alright, game two. Alright, Dref, there you are. Game two. Who goes first, mate? No, like, then you can't say the same thing. If you can pull off 300 damage turn, literally one, with Baby Blaze. Because you don't have to evolve, you don't have to do anything. You go second, you go welder, hand attachment, and then you can run wild. With Charizard, you have to get to the Charizard. So there is a whole build up to it. Would you like to go first? Um, yeah, he's gonna go first. So you can't compare the two. Th that's also why you can't compare Sent Discord. There is a whole build up, and there's like downside of three prize cards. Right? Of course, one. And there you have it, Colossal V deck. Amazing deck, super fun deck to play, and you should definitely check it out and definitely play that one. And if you enjoyed that, uh, don't forget to subscribe to channel for more videos like that. Of course, down there below, also 5% discount on any code with purchase on Professor Oak. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye, good night, have a fantastic rest of the day. Take care, bye, and stay safe. Bye.